back at Cook Creek. Different site this time. Somebody had my favorite site, but this is actually really nice too. You can hear the river even better. I think you're a little bit closer. Although the river's quite a bit, well, maybe not quite a bit higher, but we're pushing flood mode right now, so it's pretty high. It's really beautiful. It's been a really warm morning here at uh, Cook Creek. Super enjoying it. Um, made myself a nice lunch outside, but now it started raining, so I'm, I don't know if you can see, but I'm inside my van. It's warm enough still to have the back door open and listen to the river and read my novel. It's a great day and nobody's I think I'm the only one in the campground until just a few minutes ago somebody pulled in. Um, it was almost disappointing to have somebody pull in because it's been so quiet and wonderful here. Just loving it, having a great day. Well, there's an issue that I've been having with my Dodge Grand Caravan since I bought it new. I uh, can't always close the tailgate. And even when there's nothing in the way, It sometimes won't close and I think um, in the past when I've cleaned the sensor is outside not inside and I've cleaned it off because I'm on dusty roads quite a bit uh, cleaned it off and then it works again or it's been raining and it's still raining so the window is kind of dirty so the sensor has to work through all that which seems kind of like a flaw in the design. But anyways, here's what happens. It just decides it's not gonna close. So what I end up doing is I have to go outside. Right now it's raining, so hopefully I can wait until it stops raining. Hopefully it does stop raining because I really don't wanna go out there. Um, and I have to push it closed myself, so. Just another little uh, quirky problem on an otherwise great day. First chance at a campfire because I'm camping with friends and I can't carry wood around with me and it's just too much of an effort for me to try and build a fire and we're right by the river there's Judy's water jug down there and here's our campfire expert not the dog the person <laughs> Just a little follow-up to the birthday girl's not being able to get into her wine. What does she do now? Screw top! <laughs> <laughs> well, the first week I was in Cook Creek, I had the whole campground to myself. Not anymore. It's July 1st, long weekend, and the campground is full. You can, I think you can see a trailer back there. There's more over there. Some right beside me. And some on the other side, too. I way prefer it when I have the whole campground to myself, but I guess that's not really fair. Um, I'm really still enjoying it, even though there's tons of people here. My two friends will be joining me in the next little bit. And uh, we'll be playing a lot of board games again. And I'm just looking forward to the weekend. I'll leave for the coast next weekend, or next week. Oh! And I'm getting my bumper replaced this week. They finally found one. Settlement cities and the village of the Forgotten Tribe, you reach an intersection with a number token. You establish trade relations with this village. You immediately take one bolt of cloth, which is one of those Catan ships. Naha, uh -huh, one. And then from the supply of this village, if there
Oscar. Hello, Oscar. <laughs> Look who joined me this morning. Yeah. My favorite guy in the whole world. Oscar, <laughs> look up, hun. Hey, there you go. Where's your mom? <laughs> Got a little buddy with me again, working on some emails that I can send once I go out tomorrow. But uh, here's Oscar. Oscar. Hey, what you looking at? I know the lighting is really poor, but I just thought I'd say what's going on right now. Uh, it's my last day at Cook Creek. I'll be leaving in the morning. Got up this morning. Uh, my neighbor, the former neighbor, was still here. And she was going to stay, and we are going to do some, uh, sorry, some games outside. But the bugs are so bad, and it's raining. It's only sprinkling, and we did have a tarp over the table, but... The mosquitoes are so bad. Uh, I had my back door open for a while um, so that I could talk to her while she was packing up. But uh, after I after she left and I closed the door, I had to get rid of I don't know how many mosquitoes, bazillions. They're still flying around in here. So I'm not opening the door again. So here's what I'm up against today, which is fine. I'm going to really, I don't mind staying in my van all day. Even if it is a very small space, it's, uh, I have lots of things to do. I've got a novel. I've got my computer. I can work on some videos. I have a lot of stuff to do, but I want to eat too. And the only thing I could reach was cheesies, which is what I just had for breakfast. <laughs> So now I'm trying to figure out if there's a better way because I'm sitting halfway back in my van and as you're aware from other videos, I know the lighting is really poor, but that's my wheelchair right there. So I'm there, the chair is there, I'm here, and then there's this much space behind me that I'm going to be living in all day today. But all my food and stuff is there, so my fridge is... I don't know if you can see it or not, kind of in behind these shelves. And I have a bit of food on these shelves, but I can't really reach anything because my wheelchair is in the way. So I'm debating whether I'm going to actually take my wheelchair apart and put the wheels and the frame of it up in the front. I don't really want to do that because, you know, the axles are greasy. and So I don't know. The saving thing is, is that I have my coffee, this is my dishwashing pan and I keep all my coffee stuff in here and some of my dishwashing stuff and my stove, my little single burner stove is here. So if I can actually reach a pot to cook in, which probably I can't because it's way at the other side. Um, then I'll be able to have a cup of coffee, I'll be able to have some food, and I won't have to leave the van. If it clears up, I'm going to venture out. I've got some essential oil bug spray that I made, uh, so I might venture out later. But then I know when I come back in, I'm going to have to kill all the bugs again. So, anyway, sorry for the poor quality of lighting on this. Um... It's dark in my van and the lighting that I have is not that great and I'm not going out there. So, hope you're all having a good day. To me? Yeah. Here, just take a quick video of me. Oh. What do you want? Just, it's already Just, on. oh, it's going? So it's oh, oh, no, it's looking, no, it's looking at me. Oh, good. <laughs> no, not good. <laughs>